Okay, so this is my very first time uh, logging into 3.20. Gonna kind of give an honest take on how this uh, works, how it feels. My experience uh, with all the past updates, good and bad, generally from the time I get out of my bed to the time I get to my ship is a pretty good indicator if it's smooth or a rough update. First of all, let's take a look at the inventory. Yeah, I was reading over a lot of different things where people were saying they were missing stuff in their inventory. I'm just trying to see here if I have everything in mine. Yeah, as far as I can tell, I've got everything in my inventory that I need. So, and it's pretty responsive, not having any issues there. So let's go ahead and come forward. Let's come on out. I'm a new Babbage, by the way. So, so far, so good. Elevators, that's usually a good test. Let's see how this works. Okay, pass that, check, right? Come down to lobby. I'm seeing some like little uh, visual, like, I don't know, it looks like distortions coming across the, uh, the screen. I haven't really noticed that before. Let's see how this is working here i'm not you know i'm not stuttering or anything well that was a slight stutter also notice that we're going uh let's see if we can catch the uh the boat here Brett, that's gonna take us to the spaceport right hopefully yeah, I was reading a lot on uh, uh, just different posts on this update. I mean, a lot of people are praising it. There's so much additional content. And yeah, you know, from the looks of it, there's a lot of different things added to it. But, you know, one side of the fence, it's being praised. It's working really beautifully. But on the other side of the fence, I mean, as always, it's having one problem after another. Generally, for me, the uh, the tram ride is a good indicator if there's an issue going on. I mean, right now, it's smooth. I have not tweaked any settings on my computer. Everything's still the same as it was, but I uh, let's just wait and see. I mean, every update's going to have issues, obviously. I mean, we are talking a CIG. And, of course, if... Uh, it's so bad and unplayable. Thank God we have Starfield. I mean, but as I said before in a previous video, Starfield really makes me more hyped for Star Citizen just because of the realism and all the components put into it. I mean, it's just, it's insane. I mean, you guys know what I mean. All right, let's come over here. I want to get to the ASOP terminal, and then uh, try to make it to my ship. Kind of see what's going to happen here. I mean, so far, so good. So let's see here. Uh, I want to go to the terminal. Yeah, you know, uh, talking about Starfield, too, while we're waiting here. You know, I know uh, this big controversy thing over the no atmospheric flight. I'm personally not worried about the fact that we can't actually fly our ship down through the atmosphere. I mean, after a while, it's kind of like, you know, I just want to get down there and get to my business, right? But I do not like all the loading screens that Starfield has. 
I do not care for. Uh, yeah, let's see if. Let's just go ahead and get the Titan out. Okay, good. Hangar three. Well, that was smooth. That wasn't too bad. Now let's see if the ship's actually there. Hangar three. Okay. This is this is the third test here. There's a little bit of bugginess in it, but <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there's some stutters definitely going on. Let's go ahead and see uh, how everything goes once I get my ship. Whoopsie. Her ship. Here we go. But yeah, you know, as I was saying about <clears throat> Starfield. Uh, all the loading screens, and I really wish that we could fly our ships, you know, once we are down on the planet, and or, you know, maybe there are some uh, aspects where we could have a ground vehicle. I mean, it's not too hard to get around using the boost packs. Let's see here, why isn't that working here? Okay, um, yeah, we may be having an issue. What do they do? They change the uh, binding for a uh, flight ready or something here? Uh, see, yeah, that's something I don't really like. They, they pull that kind of BS. Uh, let's go to key binds, find out. Ease. All right. Toggle power all. You? What? So have I changed it? So you. Okay, yeah, that's something else. I have to make a note of that. It's not a game changer. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get out of here. <clears throat> um, man, what is it? Okay, not bad. All right. Landing gear. Did <laughs> they change the landing gear? Nope, landing gear is still, still on that bind. The world. Yeah, they totally. Okay, yeah, there's. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, part of my uh, key bindings aren't working. That's okay. We'll just do this manually. Well, I don't know. Three, three point two zero. Uh, a little bit of stuttering. But honestly, for me, at least so far, from logging in to getting out, getting into my ship. Everything seems to be going okay so far. So, yeah, that's working. Hate it when they mess with my uh, key binds. Yeah, you guys let me know uh, in the comments below how your experience with uh, 3.2 has been. Obviously, there's a lot of other things that I haven't uh, <clears throat> dealt with or experienced yet in the game. So, Whoa, what the? Yeah, that wasn't very good didn't blow up
Wow. Oh, okay, that doesn't look too well. What the heck just happened? <clears throat> Collision alert. Okay, well, I would say that we are definitely having something going on with 3.20. Because, yeah, my ship, I just lost uh, all power and everything, like right up there in flight. That was uh, really weird. So, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's uh, 3.20 for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this fixed and figured out what the heck's going on. Obviously, uh, nothing is working regardless of what I do. So I'll see you guys on the next Starfield video. Good luck with 3.20. Peace.